The key to success is to keep searching for ways to improve on all fronts. And assuming Jonathan Paredes lands up and down, gets on his feet, he will win the competition and he will also win the entire Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Winning the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series in 2017, making my dream come true. At 28 years of age, Jonathan Paredes has reached the pinnacle of his sport. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. But the story didn't end there. It had just begun. I feel pressure the whole time, and to retain the title, it will be a fight. My goal for 2018, be the champion again. In 2018, the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series kicks off in Texas. Jonathan has become very comfortable with the media, and as the reigning champion, he is in the spotlight more than ever. Honestly, all the people was asking me the whole time if I feel the pressure in somehow of being the, the champion, the reigning champion, and I always tell them that I, I don't really feel it like that. But I think very inside of me, it was like, you are the champion, so you have to show it. But to perform at the highest level with this kind of pressure is not easy. The season opener is a disappointment for Jonathan. Obviously, as a champion and for all the training just before the, the kickoff of the season, I will expect to have a better result, you know, than, than a 10th place. Cliff diving is a sport that needs body and mind to work in perfect harmony. If something is off, even the best prepared champions can find themselves in troubled waters. I was uh, kind of angry and kind of sad with myself, you know, because I was like, something was missing in Texas, but honestly, I have no idea what it was. Back in Spain, trying to move on. At his home in Toledo, Jonathan receives a treatment session from his physiotherapist and friend, Ludovico. Your body has to be ready and, and go ahead the season, you know, so for me, this, this part is very essential and it's more important than anything else. In Texas, his body was not fully prepared. Herede suffered from shoulder pain at the first event of the season. I will say like a month ago, I started to feel some kind of pain on my shoulder. And I think it's more because of the position, how I sleep. More to work on. Every person doing sport uh, is very important, the, the recovery and the therapy. And Ludovico is helping me a lot with that. And, and yeah, it's, it's very important for me. With strong support, Jonathan will be at 100% for the second competition of the year. Bill Bao, just a four hour drive from Toledo. For the Mexican, his adopted home event. For most, that would mean more pressure, but for Jonathan, it was pure joy. I didn't feel any pressure in Bill Bao. Honestly, I was the happiest guy in the world, having my wife, my friends from the pool. I think probably close to 30 people come and show up just to see me on the competition. And I think it's the really first event that I really enjoy to compete. In the lead before the final dive, with plenty of support. But the lower degree of difficulty than the other contenders would keep him from the top of the podium. The execution, the style, is back. But Paredes needs to rise even higher to hold on to the title. He needs to push himself. That moment, it was in a cool situation, like knowing that probably if I step up the game, it will be better, you know? Like I can have like many chances to win the competition. A good second place, but also perspective. You need to you need to raise the DD because if you want to win the competition, there is no 
other chance. The, the guys are diving pretty well, so if you want to be there on the top, you have to go again and 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 chase your dreams, you know? You need to go for it. I knew you were going to win. I mean, the difference is just too high on the DD. So when you hit it, I was like, I'm going to fight for the second half. Like, I mean, I feel that way. Good competition. And we start the preparation with a new dive. To become the best cliff diver of your generation, you need to keep improving all the time. Next up on Chasing the Dream, Episode 3, Turning on the Style.